I was in school when revolution happened. And it was right at the time that immigration was after me. I didn't have a job. And uh, my car was broken. It was end of the month. I had to pay rent. And no food in the refrigerator. And I had $9 in my wallet. That's it. If you looked up diversity in the dictionary in American Dream, I'm sure you'd find a picture of Mansour Halibab. He came to this country in 1976, escaping the tyranny of the leaders in Iran. I can only imagine what it must have been like for somebody coming from Iran at the height of the uh, Iranian hostage crisis. It was tough and there was some fights that broke out. The Iranians who were here, whether they were students or family, basically got caught in their crossfire. There is always test in life. I started actually in a restaurant of a hotel uh, that I, when I was going to school. Probably my drive was a little bit because of my family situation that they were poor. And uh, I did not want the same thing happen to my children. And then he was hired at, at this beautiful hotel that was pretty run down in, in uh, Northampton, Mass. He took a hotel that was in a lot of distress and he became the general manager and he turned it around. And then was able to live his dream uh, and purchase the Hotel Northampton, which he continued to uh, really clean up and bring great staff in. And today, the Hotel Northampton really is the grand dame of hotels in Western Massachusetts. Having worked from the bottom up in the hospitality industry, it's what he's done in terms of giving back to the community and what he's done in terms of uh, mentoring and promoting individuals that have worked for him over the years. I think because of Mansoor's uh, history and where he's come from and all the hard work that he's done, he has a hard time to say no. He's very active in a fundraising perspective. He's very active with ProStart and embraces the fact that we need to reinvest in education. Anyone whose uh, life is touched by Mansur Halabaf is richer for it. He has passion that goes beyond um, compare, really. As I look at things that he's had to overcome in his life, he gives back today like there's no tomorrow. When you have your livelihood from a community that you are working in, it is the right thing that to give back. And when you do, the American dream is there.